hello good morning today I want to show you how to find the derivative of hyperbolic function starting with these three main functions the three main hyperbolic functions are defined as follows the first one the sinh x is defined as exponential x minus exponential negative x divided by 2 while the hyperbolic cos of x is defined as the exponential x plus the exponential of the negative x divided by 2 while tan as you know is sine divided by cos so this divided by this give this let us begin with the first one Finding the derivative of the hyperbolic sine of x is the same thing as finding the derivative of this exponential function because they are the same. d over dx of this function sine x is the same thing as finding the derivative of this which is equal to. We are not going to apply quotient rule because this is a constant term. We are just going to differentiate the numerator. And the numerator, the first term there is exponential x. You know that the derivative of exponential x is still exponential x because you have to multiply with the derivative of the exponent, which is the same thing as 1. Then minus the derivative of the exponential negative x is exponential negative x. But remember, you have to also multiply by the derivative of the exponent, which is negative 1. Therefore, negative 1, we have another negative. It will convert it to positive, all divided by 2. But if you look at this function, it is the same thing as this other function, which is cosh x. So therefore, we say the derivative of uh, the hyperbolic sine x is the same thing as hyperbolic cosine x. All right, let us take the second one. The derivative of of uh, the hyperbolic cos of x. We are going to apply the same principle here. This this one remain constant, so we have divide by two here, but our exponential x remain exponential x we have plus exponential negative x but remember you have to multiply with the derivative of that exponent which is minus one so it will change this plus into minus so we have minus here but at the same time this function is just the same as the hyperbolic sine of x so therefore we conclude by saying that the derivative of the hyperbolic cos x is the same thing as the hyperbolic uh, sine sine x so the last one we are going to find the derivative of the hyperbolic tangent of x which is equal to this function uh, but this hyperbolic tangent of x is the same thing as saying the hyperbolic sine x divided by the hyperbolic cos x because sine divided by cos is equal to tan from the trigonometric ratios if you could remember so now we are going to take the derivative of this function applying quotient rule so this is tan hyperbolic tan x so to find the derivative of this function with respect to x, we are going to apply quotient rule, which says the denominator square, which is cosh squared x. The derivative of the numerator is the same thing as the denominator, which is cosh x, but we have cosh x times cosh x is cosh, cosh squared x minus numerator which is sinh x multiplied by the derivative of the denominator which is the same thing as sinh x which is equal to sinh squared x 
uh, in hyperbolic function cosh squared x minus sin squared x is the same thing as one so this is equal to one divided by cosh squared cos squared x one divided by cosh squared x is the same thing as um, sec h squared x so now we have finally find a derivative of the hyperbolic tangent of x is the same thing as the hyperbolic sec squared x so let me write them down for you This is all I have for you today. Remember, if you are new here, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content.